As we continue our search for a voting method that is fair, we're going to ask the question, maybe it would be better, instead of instant runoff or just looking at first place votes, would it be better, or can we vote by giving each place a rank. And what I mean by that is using a method called the board account. The board account gives one point to last place. two points to second to last, and so on. And simply, the most points wins the election. This is actually how they nominate NFL MVP and other awards using something similar to a board account. So let's do an NFL MVP example. In election for NFL MVP gives the following results. first place, second place, and third place. And there are nine votes cast that give player B first place, player A second place, and player C third place. There are 19 votes cast that first rank A, then B, then C. There are 11 votes cast that rank CBA. And there are 8 votes cast that rank BCA. So what we're going to do is we're going to give third place 1 point. Second place then gets 2 points. And first place then is going to get three points. And we're going to total up our results. So if I look at my table maybe with this in mind, so as we look to total our votes for each of the candidates, looking at candidate A, First time candidate A came in second place. Second place is worth two points, and there were nine votes for second place. In addition to that, A came in first place. First place is worth three points times the 19 votes. In addition to that, we see A is in third place. Third place is worth one point times those 11 votes. Plus, we see A is in third place. Third place is worth one point times the eight votes. And remember, with order of operations, the multiplication has to happen first. And so we end up with A totaling 94 points. Then we look at B. We see B coming in first place. That's worth three points times the nine votes. Plus, then B comes in second place. That's worth two points times the 19 votes. Plus, we see B coming in second place again. That's worth two points times the 11 votes. Plus, B comes in first place. That's worth three points times those eight votes. And when we multiply that out, B ends up with 111 points. 
candidate C then. We see candidate C starts off in third place. That's worth one point times those nine votes. Plus, candidate C is in third place. That's worth one point times the 19 votes. Plus, candidate C is in first place. That's worth three points times those 11 votes. Plus, candidate C is in second place. That's worth two points times those eight votes. And when we multiply that out on our calculator or using order of operations, C ends up with 77 points. And so we see the most points is 111. And so that goes to candidate B. B is the winner. B then is our MVP. And this seems nice because it's similar to the instant runoff voting that a second place vote carries more weight than a third place vote. So we're considering your place and your ranking. And it might seem like it's a bit of a better plan. However, it also is going to come with some drawbacks. What's wrong with board account? Well, a couple things. One is that it also violates the Condorcet criterion in that it's possible that head-to-head -head matchups might be violated because of how the point system is established. But another major problem that comes out of it, another fairness criteria that's violated, is called the majority criterion. And this fairness criteria says if a candidate has the majority of first place votes, that candidate should win. But that's not necessarily going to be the case in a board account situation. For example, if I have three candidates and we're ranking them first, second, and third, and 11 people ranked them ABC, three people ranked them BCA, and six people rank them CBA. What I want to note here is that A has 11 out of, if I add these up, 20 votes, 11 out of 20, or 51 per, over 51% of the first place votes. A clearly won with a majority. However, if we do the math here, A is in first place, giving it three points times the 11 votes, plus third place, giving it one point times the three votes, plus third place, giving it one point times the six votes, which means we have a total of 42 points for A. B is in second place, which is worth two points times the 11 votes, plus a first place, which is three points times the three votes, plus a second place, which is two points times the six votes. Adding all that up, 43 points for B. And then C in third place for one point times the 11 votes, plus second place for
for two points times the three votes, plus first place for three points times the six votes. That's going to equal 35. And as we see, 43 is our majority. And then B is the board account winner, even though A had a lot more first place votes, 11 versus 3. This is probably why board account is often considered a consensus based vote. It is often based on the idea of compromise, not preference. So more people would prefer A, but to compromise for the people that really don't want A, we all compromise on B being the board account winner. So it's not a bad method when we want kind of a consensus agreement, when we can't all agree on one, but maybe there's a second choice that'll work to keep everybody happy. Board account's a good one to go with, even if it violates this majority criterion. So now it's your chance to practice some of these and take a look at board account and see if you can identify the board account winners. And then we'll come back and continue our search for that fair voting method.